What's up everybody, Osi here and welcome back to another vlog. Now today, I'm gonna to be giving you guys three cheap motorcycle mods that you can do for your bike. So if you're looking for some aesthetic upgrades like myself, these three mods are gonna be perfect for you and they're low in cost, which is amazing because you can make your bike look good without spending so much money. So let me, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. Upgraded your exhaust, you already eliminated your fender, you already got your integrated tail light, and you're looking to do something else, but you don't want to spend so much money. This is perfect for you. Okay, so all three mods that I'm showing you today are considered fuel cap. I have all three products from Driven Racing. Driven provides these beautiful machined fuel caps that just look great on your bike as an accent. First up, the biggest of the three is the Driven Halo Fuel Cap and the Halo Fuel Cap Base. You do have to buy these products. You have to buy the base and you have to buy the cap. They both will run you around 75 bucks a piece, which is quite expensive because you do have to buy both to make it work. The Halo Fuel Cap comes in multiple colors. You have your yellows, your golds, your blues, your reds, and your standard blacks. I decided to pick up the blue as I wanted to do blue accents with the bike and it looks great. So the second mod is the Driven Oil Fill Cap. The oil fill cap replaces the stock cap. So now you can add a colored machine cap to your bike. And the third mod is the engine plug. So it's also a driven product, the driven engine plug, and you can get it in the same color as your fuel cap, which is which I did. I got the blue. By talking about the benefits of the fuel cap and the cap base, that combination now, you don't need to use your key to access and fill your gas tank, which I believe it saves me some time, you know, get in and out. Ain't nobody got time for that. Quicker. The oil fill cap and the engine plug, the largest benefit besides aesthetic, I believe is uh, it's tamper proof now. It's, it's no longer just a twist by the hand or a flat head screwdriver. You do need a 10 millimeter uh, Allen or T handle. So all three are very, very easy to install. You don't need any type of mechanic or you can do it all yourself. I've done it myself. This is my first time doing anything like this on a motorcycle. Very, very simple plug and play situation with all three products. The Halo fuel cap and the cap base, they have a little more detail to the installation, but it's very, very simple, as I said. So removing your stock gas cap, what you wanna do is take your key, open up the gas cap, locate the screw underneath. That's gonna be the first one you wanna remove, that inner screw. Once you remove the inner screw, you can go ahead and remove the outer screws and your gas cap will come right off. Now, to remove your key from the gas cap, what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze the gasket towards the top of the cap and at the same time, give your key a little twist and it'll come right out. That motion does mimic the closing of the gas cap and the gas cap now thinks that you can remove the key because it's closed and that's how you get it out. You can use the actual stock gasket. It fits right onto the base uh, you may need to cut it to make a small modification for a extra screw that was there uh, in the rubber gasket. Very simple, just get you a, a, a blade, slice both sides, cut out that small little chunk, and then the gas cap will fit perfectly. It gives you that stock finish. And for the fuel cap, you just go ahead, push the fuel cap down, twist it a little bit, and it's locked. So when installing your engine plug to remove the stock one on the R6, what you're gonna need is a flathead screwdriver. I didn't have one, I had a chisel, which is also flat, so it worked. Anything flat to get that initial twist in. Once that initial twist is in, you can go ahead and remove the cap, get the new cap, 10 millimeter Allen, and just tighten it down. You don't wanna damage your finish of the new color that you have. I kind of torqued mine down a little too tight and the inner side started to scratch, but it's nothing noticeable unless you get like really close. And then removing the oil fill plug, grab this with your hands and literally twist. Uh, if you have enough might, just twist it and it twists right off. Put on your new driven racing plug, lubricate it a little bit, same 10 millimeter T-handle and tighten it down and boom. That's it, you're done. Take a step back, enjoy the new beauty and the accents on your bike, and just think, I, I paid less than $100 for these things. And remember, they're bike specific, so make sure you get the right ones for your bike. So your gas cap, the Halo fuel cap comes in two parts, make sure you get both parts. I initially only ordered one part and then realized that I needed both. So just a heads up for that. Now I gotta find out what's next. I'm thinking 
Tail Light or Fender Eliminator. I might be doing that mod together. Stay tuned for that. If you haven't checked out my first mod to my bike, I did remove the stock exhaust, the hideous stock exhaust, the huge gray silent stock exhaust. Check out that video in the link above. Thanks guys, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment if you like this mod on the bike and the look of it. Be sure to live your life guys and stay tuned for the next one. So there's really no performance enhancements with these mods. Wow, the sun is really bright. One, one. Ooh. ND filters are the best.